Good morning friends, welcome back for another exciting short video on some of the filming locations from my favourite movie of all time, Back to the Future. If this view looks familiar, it's because this is the long street where at the end of Back to the Future 3, Marty does the drag race, almost. <laughs> And right down there in the distance is where the car pulls out and Flea, Needles and his gang almost crash their car. So Marty and Jennifer drive their truck down this road which is called Doris Avenue in real life. And then they pull up right across the road from Hilldale Estates. Hilldale, this is where we live. I mean, this this is where this is where we're gonna live someday. <laughs> I actually almost forgot about this location because I was on my way to another, even more important one. This one is a really good one. See this train track? Does it look familiar to you? Maybe it would look a little more familiar if there was a bridge down there. It's a bit more overgrown nowadays, but that wall should be a dead giveaway. This is the bit where he gets blasted over the little hedge and the final resting place of the DeLorean. I think that might be one of the favorite locations I've visited yet. Okay, a little bit of a break from Back to the Future for just a second. Every time I drive up the 805 towards Los Angeles, I'm greeted with another movie landmark from a movie of my youth, uh, Naked Gun, and it's this. <laughs> and if you don't remember the scene, it goes a little something like this. Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. Through this tunnel is where Marty gets chased on his <laughs> skateboard doesn't look quite as long in real life. I'm sure there was some movie magic involved. And in this little turn, another bit of film history, is where they filmed a part of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So now you know. <laughs> <laughs> 